What's up you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here and today we have some Pokemon Go news. So as of today, the legendary raid boss Palkia has officially left raids and guys tomorrow, March 1st at 1pm Pacific Time, we are getting the legendary raid boss Dialga. So Dialga is known as the god of time but in Pokemon Go it's just a level 5 raid boss and Dialga is a steel and dragon type Pokemon so in today's video we're going to go over a Dialga raid guide. I'm going to let you guys know the best counters, how to take Dialga down because this one is a little bit more complicated than some of the other ones we've had in the past. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said Dialga is a steel and dragon type Pokemon so it's only weak to two types and they are fighting and ground types. So the best fighting type Pokemon to use against a Dialga raid boss would be Machamp, Hariyama, and Breloom all with the moves Counter and Dynamic Punch. You can also go with a Blaziken with Counter and Focus Blast, a Gallade with Low Kick and Close Combat, or a Mewtwo with Focus Blast. So there aren't quite as many ground type counters that you can use, but the best ones would be Groudon with Mud Shot and Earthquake, and Rhyperior and Rhydon with Mud Slap Earthquake. So a Dialga Raid Boss can have three charge moves. They are Draco Meteor, Iron Head, and Thunder. So Draco Meteor is the one you really want to be careful on because a lot of these raid counters for Dialga don't resist dragon typing and Draco Meteor is a really strong dragon type move and it has the stab since Dialga is a dragon type Pokemon. So be careful on that one guys. Honestly the way to be ready for a Dialga Raid is prepare multiple raid parties. That way when your Pokemon faint in battle you can go straight back in with your good raid parties and guys trust me your Pokemon are probably going to faint at least once or twice during the raid because Dialga does a lot of damage and like I said all of these counters put out a lot of damage onto Dialga but they don't resist Dialga's attacks so just be careful on that one. One way to get a little bit more damage onto Dialga is pay attention to the weather. So if you have sunny weather you can use your ground type Pokemon and they'll put out more damage onto Dialga and same thing with the cloudy weather for the fighting type. So before you go into a raid check the weather see what it is and that can help you pick your counters. So technically you can take down Dialga with three trainers but just to be safe go in with seven or more. A 100% IV Dialga on a counter will have a CP of 23 7, and with the weather boost it'll be 2884 and Dialga is weather boosted by wind and snow. So that's all for the Dialga raid guide. Just remember to use your ground and fighting type Pokemon and you should do a good job. But also remember that these Dialga raids don't start until tomorrow March 1st at 1pm Pacific time. So Latios raids are going to be around until then. So you still have time to get a last minute shiny Latios if you haven't yet. I've already got mine but I might go out and do a few Latios raids just to see if I can get another shiny. You never know. I might get lucky. But guys that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your Dialga raids guys. If you enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!